The only thing really missing from uh, my CV this year was uh, was a victory. You know, I've come very, very close on a number of occasions, and uh, unfortunately, just haven't quite managed to uh, finish the job off. So to actually get into the winner's circle not only was was great, but to win, obviously, the tournament that I did win, you know, such a prestigious one like the the Volvo World Match Play, means a great deal. Pretty much every department of my game, you know, my my long irons, my short irons were very good. My short game was very, very sharp um, all week. And I suppose the most pleasing aspect for me was probably my putting, you know, especially in the final on Sunday when I needed to hold some putts, um, I did. All the stories about the European Open, you know, me not, um, not going to play at one stage and because I was tired and this, that and the other. So, uh, it kind of worked out really well that I did actually go and play. You know, to win was one thing, but to win in the fashion that I did, you know, by by seven strokes from a from a classy field, was obviously delightful. But um, this week's win, you know, it's a bit different because it's it was a match play tournament, not a stroke play tournament. So it was a little bit different. But any any tournament you win is special. For me to not only contending at least three if not four of them and I actually led all, all four at one point it was huge to me to be the, the leading player who played all the majors stroke play at the four majors. I'll obviously cherish that and remember that for a very, very long time. I started to work with, with Mark Rowe last year so obviously that's, uh, that's really, really helped, uh, helped me out massively this year, you know, short games been as sharp as anything, it's always getting better, it's always improving. But I, I say generally, my game just has improved on, on the whole, you know, every every single aspect I think is getting better and better each year I play, so it's, uh, it's very, very pleasing. Oh, it'd be huge. I mean, it's going to be hard work because, you know, there's a lot of good players gunning to, uh, to win that title, so... If I want to win that, I'm going to have to play very, very well to give myself a, a good chance uh, going into the race to Dubai. I think it's a, it's a lifetime dream for any aspiring professional and all of us that get out here and reach the professional ranks. You know, we'd, we'd love to be a part of the Ryder Cup team and obviously, you know, be a part of Monty's team next year in uh, 2010 at uh, Celtic Manor. We've got uh, we've got a very very large supply of uh, of quality young golfers and even guys that have got some experience out there. So I think we're going to have uh, we're going to have a very very strong team and hopefully I can be one of those guys that's in the team. This has been a big year for me, myself and Joe having a having a baby. So having a new addition to the family has been been fantastic. Everyone's just. Uh, just really been backing me from uh, from day one and have the support of all those people behind you it means a great deal. We're treated very very well and obviously there are there are some people out there who are not in as fortunate position as us so for me to get involved with a company like Gemworth and the stuff they do for the putts for charity and all the all the charitable work that they do is absolutely fantastic for me.